morning everyone and welcome to this week and my kitchen table. As I touched on last week, my new challenge, I'm calling it my kitchen table challenge, is sketching every day, starting off with the five minutes I get while I'm waiting for my porridge to cook in the microwave. <laughs> I want to just keep doing a little bit of speed drawing if I've got more time, and it will be interesting to see how much more of time I can find if the things are here. I've got beryl, fine liners, brush pens, some Caran d'Ache felt tips, things that have been sitting in the cabin. It's beginning to bug me that I'm not using everything. Always a tube of white paint. The idea with the white paint and the scraping, the glazing, whether it's thick or thin, is basically because I want to get some texture on the page. Go with what feels right for you. I've never used these um, ring bound sketchbooks. They're sea white and Hobbycraft had a nice half price area. I couldn't resist. I couldn't decide whether to get the A4 or the square format. So I got them both. And I've started off in the A4. I quite like the idea that I will, I haven't had my porridge yet, I'm running late, but I'll sit down in a minute, once I've got my porridge in, I'll sit down and do that. I came down for Rocket early and sat down and just put in page one. I just had to get going on it. I do like a new beginning. It's a sense of adventure. So I'll get set up and I'll get ready to go. So I've come back in to the blind contour pen with, a, I put down a line of orange paint, acrylic, and then white and pulled them across with my card and I've got this nice yellow tone. I'll do something here. I've made the decision that this opposite page is the perfect place to wipe off my card or my brush. I did a similar thing here on that page. So that's the decision made. Later on, I can come in and use these two as a ground on which to make the next drawing. quest for drying flowers. I don't think dahlias will work. I think the, I think they'll just drop, but I'm going to give it a go. I've got Rebecca, black-eyed Susan. <laughs> and the strimmer. I'll shut the door. And echinaceas. I'm so I won't I'll stop because I won't be able to talk about the strimmer. But echinaceas as well. And I don't know how well they'll do. But I can see the shed, the strimmer's out, the shed door's open. So I'm going to whiz in and hang those and just see what happens. I'll come back. Job done. They're in there. I'm all over the place, all over the place this morning. I've paid, I've, I'll drop a picture in. I've painted away um, on my sunflower charcoal sheet. I put a little bit of colour down here, so there's more to go there. Every time I'm left on my palette with lots of paint, I roam around and see what might like a dab. So I've been dabbing on the big painting and splatting and having a jolly good time. I wondered if Angel would like an orange earring, but I'm, I'm nervous. 
I've worked up, I can't now remember if I've shown you this board. A cleaning, a cleaning my brush board. These are invaluable because you're, you're not wasting paint. And, it, and I thought it's a lovely ground for a sunflower. So I'm, I'm giving that some attention. These are the just, just the little notebooks. I put my front cover is all fixed in, but not my back cover. These are sheets that I've worked, that were initial copy paper gel plate sheets from the jelly plate. And I am, I'm so desperate to get on to do some gel plate work, but I have got quite a stack. I've been messing with acrylic um, and pen. I quite like the jug. I very much like the jug. So he can, I'll do another cover for, with him. So I've been, what I'm trying to say here is I'm working away. Some flowers are just finding their way onto anything that's the surface out here. <laughs> I'm going to show you this. This is an example of a page that's just gone horribly wrong. It's really disappointing. My instinct is to tear it out and, and, and then it, it never happened. But instead of that, I've got to ask the question, what's wrong with it? What can I do with it? How can I move forward without tearing it out? And it's clunky. I don't like I don't like the colours. It's clunky. So I could here bear with. I've got post-it notes. <laughs> I'm literally I'm just going to <laughs> I'm asking. I need help. I need help on that page. And next week, maybe, I'll come back and I'll go in and I'll use it as groundwork. Similar story here, I'm not happy. It's clunky, I don't like it, I don't like the colours. I could ask myself, is it the selection of pens I've got in the tray? I don't think that's really a good enough excuse. So I might have to put, I might have to ask for help here. Too clunky. There's something wrong with that. That I'm happier with. I went over, this is one of the rough pages. So I'll continue. I'll continue to work on that one. And I'm quite excited this morning as I'm looking up into these. There are three. I'm going to have a go. I'll put the timer on. The porridge can go in and I'll have a go. That's the... That's the timer. The ring binder annoys me because it's shifting. The paper doesn't sit still. I'll go up to the cabin and get a clip, a bulldog clip. The paper is the usual sea white quality. If I get into the habit, if you get into the habit of not tearing it out, it will, you have to trust me on this, it will help you with your paintings. When you hit that wall, with your painting or it suddenly goes wrong you can't you you mess up um you can't tear it up and it's such a waste of a canvas you've got to keep going so the more you practice this keep going method the more chance you'll have of finding potential on the page this page this page needs help but it's got potential. It's got potential because it's not a blank white sheet. This is a job when I've got a little bit more time at the table. Somehow, putting that post-it on it makes me feel better about it, about leaving it in there. It's a true story. 
this kitchen table sketchbook, the good and the bad. The other thing people ask quite a lot about is colour theory. You've got to have a colour wheel as a beginning. I think you've got to get yourself a colour wheel. Monochromatic is using any shade, tint or tone of one colour. So taking blue If I mix white, let's do it underneath. I have a tint. Not the best brush, but that's nice. If I take blue and I add grey, this is a neutral, this is a Liquitex neutral grey. It's heavy body, so I'll just use a small amount. So this will vary how much grey you put in the tone of grey that you use. So there's a tone. That's a gorgeous colour. That's a lovely colour. And your shade. Is. With black. So too much, much too much black there. Let's see if we can do a better example. Shade. So I thought with my sketchbook cover, could it help me? Could the colour wheel help me then with the yellow? I've got a lot of predominantly yellow on the ground and the complementary we know of of yellow is purple and then the tint of purple the tone of purple and the shade of purple so I thought well I'll experiment and put a little touch a small amount of purple in and uh, and I'm happier I'm happier there I'm looking I've got I've got that sunflower to work on. Hi. Hi everyone. Small flowers today. These are, this is a little jug of red clover. I'm going to follow the instructions from Cathy. I'm going to set my gel plate here. It's so long since I've done anything on the gel plate. Um, that might be too much. Place the plants. Right, and I've already realised I've made a big error in my excitement. I want to. Um, I've, you've seen me do this before because I'm going to go with a smaller card. I've got some five by five cards. I want to just create. Um, let's have a straight edge there. I want to just create a little border. So I'm just going to lay, I've already um, painted in the kitchen, kitchen table sketchbook. I'll drop a photo in. Oh, wow, look. So I've got that on the tissue. I'm guessing I should have had that on the card. I've read it wrong. Nothing. 
<laughs> right, let's try again, let's go again. I'll go and find some more red leaf clover and have another go at that. I bet if Kathy's watching, <laughs> she'll be saying, no, 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 I didn't say do that. I got a little bit frustrated with running out of red leaf clover just as I kind of got the knack of what I needed to do, I went into the garden and found nasturtium leaves and I had a play with some nasturtium leaves. These cards are quite small. They're, I mean, they're five by fives. I hope, that, I hope that I can manage to zoom these right up. So I'm, I'm quite... I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with those. So it's basically putting your paint down, laying your material in. You need to very carefully, I found, press on the material to really get it a contact, to really make contact properly with the paint. I'll take these down, see if I need, if I can add um, to them. And I also, I've also got some copy paper, copy paper sheets. That was a bit of a better attempt with the clover. Why, why would it be amazing on the very first go? Just the colours and the texture on there, I absolutely love. It, I mean, it doesn't look like clover, but I'm really thrilled with that and I will make some, some good use for that. I won't be getting rid of any of this. It's a lovely collage material to take down and maybe use in my kitchen table sketchbook. That's in my mind. Okay, that's it for today. Oh, I do know what's happening tomorrow. I'm not in the cabin tomorrow. We're going to Charleston in Furl, which is near Lewis in East Sussex. It's the home of Virginia Woolf and the Bloomsbury group, and I'm very, not Virginia Woolf, Vanessa Bell. It's the home of Vanessa Bell, and um, I'm very excited. I've wanted to go there for a long time. We'll hopefully have some lovely things to share. Charleston exceeded all expectation. A real sense of energy and a love of art in all its many forms, textiles, decor, handworked motifs, ceramics, sculpture and the garden. The sunshine shone for us, even though the fog sat heavily on the South Downs. I've just cut a gerbera, it's, it's spent on its way out. I'm gonna have a go with that on the gel plate. And I am so lucky and I am so grateful to you, Kathy. Kathy commented on last week's video and so kindly responded to my call for help on the gel plate instructions. So this time, Kathy, rather than scribble down, I've actually printed out um, some better instruction. I'll have a go with that, following the instructions to the letter. Oh, Charleston. Charleston exceeded all expectation. If you have a love of textiles, home furnishing, um, oh, it's just got everything there, ceramics. There's an air of welcome and cosiness and homeliness and arty creativity from, from the ceiling to the floor and the, in the walls, it's everywhere. It's a beautiful old farmhouse. 
the garden is superb and every window is a beautiful view down on that walled garden. If you don't know about the Bloomsbury group, um, it, it's really worth having a read up. I've got two used books on, on their way. The shop at Charleston is full of beautiful things, but expensive beautiful things, so I resisted. I'm going to get set up and have another little go. I thought Here, Cathy suggests cleaning up around the, around the flower while it dries and giving it five minutes to dry. I'm so tempted to put that to see. I can work up on that. So it's been more than five minutes because I've been outside collecting up more nigella and now I need to put down some white. So I'm rolling with a lighter colour. It's very, very faint. It's very faintly there. So, oh, that's, I'm really pleased with that. Better, much better. So seeing all this black, I see what Cathy means about cleaning up the plate. If you just want to see the single stem, so I will attempt that. Morning everyone. <clears throat> I've run out of cabin time this week. If I can't get in the cabin, just that little bit of time, that contact with a bit of creativity makes all the difference to me. The kitchen table sketchbook is its a keeper. The help pages have had some help. I've put down collage and some paint and I'm thoroughly enjoying that. So. 
I'll show you where I am with kitchen sketchbook next week. Ooh. I cannot believe from my gel plate endeavours that I've managed to work up a little collection of cards. I have got so much more to go with the gel plate. What I'm realising is that I've got to experiment more with how much paint goes onto the plate. I must give it more time to dry. When I put my sheet down, I also think I need to leave that longer. I'm, I'm too impatient just to lift it and I'm not lifting it. I'm not lifting everything from the plate. So more to go on that next week. So in the gallery this week, I've got my three paintings and um, it's really lovely. We, all the artists involved take turns at sharing the stewarding. And um, I'm, I've got a steward session this morning. So I always look forward to that because it's lovely to speak to people. More next week, whatever you're up to, do have a go at a kitchen table, a speed drawing, and it's a great way to use small bits of time. You don't have to think, oh, I need a whole afternoon. A whole afternoon is wonderful, but um, I'm fully aware that lots of people don't have an, a whole afternoon. Have a lovely week, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.